Welcome to another Stratco how-to video. My name's Adam and today we're going to build an Aluma wall garden bed. The Aluma wall plinths can be used for really three purposes. We use them for plinths under good neighbour fencing to provide extra height and also a barrier for soil. Uh, today we're going to build a garden bed using the Aluma wall system and they can even be used for retaining walls up to four sleepers high. Uh, we've got an excellent brochure available at Stratco uh, on the Aluma wall system that shows how it all goes together. The plinths come in four powder coated colours that match our colour bond good neighbour fencing system. Before we start today you should always look after your personal safety first and those working with you. So I'll be wearing a broad brim hat just for protection under the sun, wear the appropriate sunblock. I'll have some gloves on because we will cut the posts back a little bit today um, and I'll be wearing goggles as well um, for not only the cutting but also the drilling. Let's get into it. Because we know we've put in the fence straight, we're going to build today's garden wall um, 500 mil in front of that fence. So we'll just mark that one up. A luma wall is actually simply snap locked together just like this. And you can actually build this system up to four sleepers high. So it's a, it's a great system. I've just laid these out at the moment just to get a perspective on the garden bed that we will build in a moment. The post system that comes with a luma wall, these posts come 1.7 metres long. And when you're doing a straight run, you simply join two together. When you're doing a corner, you join them together on a 90 degree angle. So we'll show you how to do that all today. They also come with a terrific cap that just clips in. So we're just commencing our holes. We're only doing a maximum of two sleepers high today, which means that the holes we need to dig are around 500 mil deep. Um, and 200 mil wide. So here we have our retaining wall posts. They actually come 1.7 metres long and they come with a cap. They're 4.3 mil thick. Um, so they're quite heavy duty, hence they're, they're used for retaining wall systems. So when you're doing a retaining wall with the Aluma wall that's four sleepers high, you need to dig a hole that's approximately one metre deep. We're only doing one today that's one to two high, so our holes are closer to 500 mil. But I'm gonna show you quickly now how we attach the uh, retaining posts for a continuous panel. So they really just come like this, a C shape. We can screw two together like so for a continuous or for a corner, we'll screw them together like this. So I'll do that one now. I'm just going to also use a clamp just to hold it in place. Because they're 4.3 mil thick, we actually need to pre-drill them prior to tech screwing through. When you're using the retaining post, we always, use, we always join it with three tech screws spaced no further than 500 mil apart. And there's actually a nice little guideline right through the middle. There we go, two to go. Now we're doing the continuous join, the H. So I'll just pre-drill those, again using the groove. And then we just make sure we remove all of the swarf. Okay, just before we concrete in our retaining posts, we've popped the plinths in, <laughs> not just to see how it looks, but also just to check that everything's level and straight both ways. Um, so we'll pull these plinths out now and we'll concrete them in. Thank you. 
The last step before we really start to work on our garden bed and have a drink to enjoy is just put on our caps, which finish off the ends nicely. And you can see that's why we cut the single level lower going this way. Now, before we do work on our garden bed, we're building a installation video today. So normally you would dig out the grass for a simple garden bed, just so that the grass didn't grow through. Or if you're working more to a retaining wall system and continuing to go up a maximum of four plinths with the Aluma wall system, you'd actually run a stone base, then run an ag pipe over that, cover that with the stone base, and then run a geofabric mat over that and then put in your soil, just so you can get all the water away. 